<laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> the struggle the way I am right now. Just don't go and buy this thing because it's too hard to put inside. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tipsy, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Alright guys, so for our video for today, we are going to make a sneaker review because the past videos are all about DIY and custom made designer items. So for today, we are going to make another review of a very popular brand of sneaker, Converse. They're all-star high or more popularly known as the Chuck Taylor. But since I know you have, you already have this one in your closet or you are already familiar with this sneaker, we will try to review it side to side with the same shoe silhouette but in collaboration with another popular, famous, expensive fashion line around the world, the Comme de Gasson Play by Rei Kawakubo. So the reason behind me shooting this video guys is that when I was deciding whether to buy this collaboration or the typical um, Converse sneaker, I don't know the difference between the two because when you see it on photos, there's not much difference. You know, there are very few reviewers in YouTube that actually uh, talks about the difference between the two. So since I have both shoes on my hand, I will try to share with you guys the key differences that I noticed between the two shoes. So just stay tuned. So for the whole look of the regular Converse All-Star High, I have here the black colorway, the most popular one. So this is the whole look of the regular Converse All-Star High or Chuck Taylor. This is in black colorway, which is the most popular colorway for young people. So it has this logo on one side and a plain black canvas on the other side. The sole is all white with black line, which they call vents. It's made of 100% rubber. The canvas is 100% cotton. So it has this black heel cap. This one, very visible. And another logo of All Star High. I guess the regular um, Converse All Star High varies in logo in this part. Of course, also in price. But um, I have here the regular All Star High. I think this is the cheapest version of the Converse sneaker. Next, we have the collaboration design from Converse and Comme de Gosson Play or CDG Play in the same silhouette and same colorway of black because you know I really I really like the color black. So in this sneaker, we can see that it's practically just the same look, black canvas. The logo of Converse on one side. However, the other side is not pla plain black canvas. It has the logo of Comme de Gasson Play, this red heart with two eyes, only two eyes open, which according to the company represents the youthful spirit of the owner. Another difference here is that this actually started me at first when I compare it with other normal or regular Converse All Star. The color of the soles is very different from the regular one because the regular one has an all white sole however this collaboration sneaker has this creamy yellowish white sole 
plus it doesn't have the black line which they call the vents of the regular sneaker so it makes it a little chunkier and higher than a regular one another difference guys here is that the heel cap has a color white you know color white line in the regular one this is completely black and I think the overall look of it looks this very similar besides the heart and the color of the sole. It's also 100% rubber, white laces, white double stitch, the same number of eyelets, and the same color of tongue. So let's check it side to side with each other. Okay guys, so looking at it side to side, we can see it has the same look. It practically has the same look, same silhouette, same color, but... You know, the, the major difference, I, I guess, is the color of the sole. This looks a little dirty compared to the regular one. This is all white, very clean look. Also, the surface of the collaboration sneaker is so much smoother compared to the regular one. Plus, when you compare it side to side, you can see how much the collaboration sneaker looks chunkier compared to the regular one. I guess the reason behind that is the presence of this black line in the soles. Also, they have the same logo of All Star High in the inside side. The same color of the canvas. Again, the major difference is the presence of the logo of Comte de Gasson, of course, because this is a collaboration. Also, it's, note, it's important to note that the double stitch for the collaboration sneaker has, you know, complex stitching at the... Um, front of the sneaker however in a regular one it's just uh, um, the pattern for the silhouette that they did for the double stitch they also have the same number of eyelets the same color of laces I think the same height we will check the height later so this um, you know the the pattern for the midsole is so much longer in the collaboration collaboration sneaker compared to the um, regular one plus another major difference that you can see from the outside I guess is the color of the back of the sneaker for regular one it's all black for the collaboration sneaker it's color white I don't know if it varies from other you know versions of the regular converse sneaker so moving on with the inside of the sneakers so for the regular one <laughs> for the regular one, we have a shorter tongue with black stitching. So it has this label, of course, that has the logo of Converse. And this is made in Indonesia. So the insole also has the logo of Converse inside. It's not removable. That is the key difference between the collaboration sneaker because besides the tongue so much, uh, looking so much uh, longer than the regular one, and the label having the Converse and Comte de Gasson logos together plus this is made in Vietnam the insole which has the same logo for two brands is actually removable for the collaboration sneaker it's removable so if you want to wash your sneaker you can remove it from the main body and wash it separately which you cannot do on a regular Converse sneaker Okay guys, another major difference between the two is of course the price. For the regular Converse All-Star High, this only costs 7,700 Japanese yen or depending on the version, there's also 13,000 version of the regular sneaker. It has differences with the logos or some differences in the color. But if you convert that to US dollars, that will only cost you like 60 to 75 US dollars or in pesos probably 3,600 pesos. This is a little cheap and affordable for the same look. In comparison, the designer sneaker is so expensive guys compared to the regular one. I guess this costs 28,500 plus Japanese yen. So in US dollars, that's probably 150 US dollars or more. And in peso, this is 13,600 plus Philippine pesos. So with the same look, you are gonna pay almost double, triple the original price of the sneakers. You know what guys, if you're gonna wear it, nobody's gonna be noticing the color of the soles, especially if you're not gonna wear it side to side with the regular one. So if you are going into a much more affordable route, then I would be 
really recommending the regular one. So if you really, really like this logo, I guess you can paint it on your own. I'm not sure. Maybe we can paint this on our next video. <laughs> DIY, con de gasong play and converse collaborations, con converse sneaker. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Okay guys, so we're gonna put first the collaboration between the two brands. Uh, see? Uh, I hate it. <laughs> Especially if you're in a hurry and it's not working, you have to readjust and readjust it. <laughs> see guys, I'm throwing Tran down rooms. The main pro. Fuck. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> no, guys, this is not the only struggle. The, another struggle is removing our feet from the shoes. It's also gonna take like a lot of effort. Look of the collaboration sneaker on feet. I don't know if you can see it clearly. The insole is so much softer. And, you know, I think there's an added padding inside, so it's much more comfortable compared to the regular one. Let's see. We're gonna walk a little. For a little. Okay. I guess for the few hours, for the first few hours or minutes, it's a little comfortable. You know, the problem with a lot of Converse sneakers in this type of silhouette, it's really painful in our feet, especially if you use it for a long time. I guess the reason behind that is that this is actually originally designed just for a one-hour basketball play so it's a little comfortable guys and it the regular one again another struggle another struggle this is... ah I can already feel the difference the difference is that you know it's not softer inside because it doesn't have the additional padding that they put for the collaboration sneaker so that's a plus point uh, but it's still not enough to um, compensate for the price. This is the look for the regular version of the Converse sneaker. Yeah, this is, I can already feel that it's painful from the inside. This is how it looks like on feet. Pretty plain. Not much of a difference anyway, besides the heart. It's me again. Let's try to use it outside. Of 
course, it's not just the cute logo that they put into the um, Converse sneaker. They also put something to make it more comfortable on your feet. So if you're going for the comfortable and cute look, I will highly recommend to you guys the collaboration sneaker between the two brands. But if you are looking for an alternative for that with a um, not so comfortable feel on your feet, then probably you can settle with the regular version of the Converse All-Star High or Chuck Taylor. Because guys, we need to be practical, you know. Just for the logo, you are gonna pay almost triple the, the original price. I, I think I don't think that is a very practical style decision that you would make so anyways that's all for today's video so thank you so much for watching and if you learned so many things please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and you can also like and share this video to your friends if you especially if you are having difficulties choosing which of the two you're gonna buy in your future uh, sneaker shopping so that's all for today thank you so much and have a great day everyone see you on my next video bye